Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we've got an ugly door jam that we're going to try to make pretty. The door is only a year old, but the jam is a lot older than that. It's solid, it doesn't have any rot, but it does have some funky spots in it. So we're going to dress up an ugly door jam. I'm going to show you how. Let's get to it. So first things first, we've got this ugly, uh, it looks like an old storm door track uh, that never was pulled off. <laughs> looks like the brick mold's still in good shape. We'll get that like caulked and painted. We've got a fairly new steel door here, but the jam it looks like it's original. Got a lot of big notches, and this is a copper weather strip, which we're gonna pull off. And it looks like we've got one of those storm door spring deals. This door had a little bit of everything. We can caulk the holes, I got Alex painters here. We can go ahead and fill this little gap here with the painters. If it needed to be secured, I would use something a little more hardcore, but it looks, it's just surface stuff, so we're gonna fill it with painters, but you do have to paint over it. Well, what happens when you have super ugly, like when the latches or locks have been moved on your jam? This really looks terrible. And to fix this one, we're gonna have to pull off the latch. I like to use Durham's Rock Hard. It's got the strong guy on the front. It's pretty hardcore stuff, so you wanna mix it up in something disposable. I'm gonna pour a little water in there. Okay, so mix it up with a little bit of water. Now I still want it to be super pliable. I don't want it to be drippy or runny. A little more. Because I want to put it in the hole and I want it to stay there. You can tell if it'll stay there because it'll stay there. So we're gonna fill this huge guy. Make sure you get it all in there. Don't just coat the surface. You gotta mush it into the hole. Like so. And don't cover up that because we're gonna reuse that, that hole. Put it in there. Just gonna go all over the whole thing. You're gonna make sure you cover all of it. Just fill it all in there. You gotta bring it up past the surface of the door jam that's not damaged. Now we're gonna take a straight edge. You could use like a knife or a piece of cardboard or whatever you wanna use. And you have to wipe off the excess to create the hard edge. And you can see that ripple right there. I might need to leave that. We can take this part off. You're trying to recreate a surface and sometimes they have a corner in it. You need to do it in steps. This stuff hardens pretty quickly. I would say within 15 minutes, it'll be hard. I'm not really happy with that. I'm gonna try a mud knife. Put a little more rock hard up here, like so. I'm gonna wet my knife too because I think it'll provide a better finish. Oh yeah, that was sweet. Okay, but now I am gonna leave that little chunky part because I'll be able to scrape that off when it sets. This one too. And you may wanna add another coat to these. Um, let it harden and then scrape it. But you can see that's pretty flush the way it is. If you mix it up, 
uh, pretty thick where you can mold it. Uh, you can recreate corners and things like that. All right, we're gonna let that sit a bit. Then we'll take a razor blade or a sharp straight edge and, and kind of make that corner there. Came out pretty nice and it's gonna paint well. All right, so this door jam is pretty sweet. It's all painted and dry. I just did my touch up second coat because it was already white. So I put a, a good coat of white on it and then you just need a few touch ups to make it gorgeous. Now we still got this guy, the door jam is painted. We got some weather stripping on it. It's looking awesome. Uh, and this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little, a little shaping up with my scraper here. And um, depending on what yours looks like, you may need another coat. Just thin it out this time. It doesn't have to be so heavy and, and moldable um, if it just needs a nice skim coat. If you have to make a corner, you're gonna have to make it chunky so you can mold it. This one's probably just gonna need a little creamy one last fill and it's gonna be awesome. So that's it. We just took that old door jam and made it uh, semi new, at least presentable. Painted the jam, caulked the jam, get all the extra BS pulled off of it and got some good weather stripping on it. That door is ready for sale. So for the home mender, this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.